next question. What does AMD need to do for the 9070 XT to impress you? Mm-hmm. Um, so first of all, I guess you're asking what it needs to do to impress me, but realistically, it doesn't need to impress me. It needs to impress gamers. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess if I'm impressed, then gamers will possibly be impressed. But having said that, we've claimed that AMD need to be at least 20% cheaper. Radeon GPUs need to be at least 20% cheaper than GeForce GPUs. They have achieved that in the past and gamers haven't really responded to it. So yeah. while we thought that was fairly impressive, it's looking like they probably have to shoot more for 30% cheaper than GeForce GPUs if they want to try and... And look, you can say that's unfair or this or that and sort of stamp your feet, but it's like, I'm not saying it. Gamers at large are saying it. So it's not the fan of like... A, it's not the opinion of an AMD fan or whatever. It's just reality. They've offered 20% better value and they haven't sold. Um, so, yeah. And if we look at... Like this, I've got a few notes here. The 7900 XTX, that was 20% better value than the RTX 4080 based on our day one review data. Um, it's 22% better value based on the updated 5080 review data. So it's it's in that 20% range. And again, it didn't sell that well. And it's not a super favorable comparison anyway, because I don't think the RTX 4080 sold that well. So, yeah, but it was similar with like a 7800 XT versus 5070. I think the the 7800 yeah. XT, because the 5070 was uh, $100 more expensive, mm-hmm. it turned out that the value was about 20% better. And again, same, same sort of scenario. Yeah, so they've maintained, or at least for the, the current or outgoing generation, for the most of the parts, around a 20% discount. And we thought that's probably what they would need to do in order to sell well. Having said that, we are being a bit generous here because that wasn't always the case for products at launch. So the, the pricing for quite a few of the products was screwed up, like 7700 XT should have started sure, at $400. Yep. Um, the RX 7600 should have started at $250. Uh, the 7900 XT probably should have started at more like 700 750 So mm-hmm. quite a few key products within that lineup uh, didn't start where they should have. Yeah. Uh, I think when... You were going through all those numbers just then. A lot of it was focused on just the rasterization performance of the card and mm-hmm. the value that it needs to be mm-hmm. relative to that. Whereas I think part of the issue that AMD's had is that that's really been the only strength of a Radeon GPU. Like if you look at, and maybe VRAM as well. Mm-hmm. If you look across most of the other aspects of the card, like ray tracing performance, which does matter in like a XTX type of price tier, upscaling, other feature quality. A lot of those things are not really in AMD's favor. And I would say that if AMD was able to make a a car that's identical to a GeForce GPU in everything, so raster performance, ray tracing performance, upscaling quality is the same, other features are the same, everything, right? So parity. Parity, exact parity. Not not just parity in raster, but I mean true parity. I reckon for that car to sell in the current market, it would need to be 20% cheaper. And my reasoning for that is... It can't be the same price, right? Because just because of brand power, people would buy an NVIDIA GPU. Mm-hmm. But I think beyond that, if you think of like... Well, you've got to convert people. Yeah, you've got to convert the, people. That's what the statistic is telling you. Yes. <laughs> Statistically, you own a GeForce GPU. For you to own a Radeon GPU, you need to be converted. What's converting you? Exactly. And so if I... if Let's say the parity model AMD card was 10% cheaper. I, I think of like sales for products, for example. It could be any product. The devil in our situation. Sale. It's like, is it? am I going to wait around to get a product for a 10% discount? Or is like a, a Black Friday sale for a 10% off on something? Is that really t- changing my mind all that much? To me, a 10% discount, it's like, eh, okay. It's okay, but... but and that's on the product you've decided to buy, though. That is right. So it's like, it's that's sort of what I was saying. It's like the devil you know. You, you know yeah. NVIDIA, you know what they offer. Why risk the switch for 10% saving? Exactly. So if I'm thinking about like what looks like a good discount to me on a parity product, sales, that sort of thing, when, I start, when my head starts to get turned for something, it's a 20% discount. Like if I've waited to buy a, a vacuum cleaner or something, and the model I'm interested in is now 20% cheaper, or an equivalent model is now 20% cheaper, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, interesting. Maybe <laughs> now is the time I should be buying that vacuum cleaner. And so when I think about- Run the Dyson ad, please. <laughs> I've always tried to break new ground in vacuum technology. Dyson Airwrap Styler. 
<laughs> well, I'm thinking about AMD product pricing, again, for parity, 20%, and then, then adjust from there based on the actual quality of the product. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if they manage to get ray tracing performance about the same as NVIDIA, then good. You can probably get it a bit closer to that 20% mark. But if ray tracing is still pretty weak, then, yeah, you're probably going to need to take off another 10 to 20% on the price. If FSR4 is significantly worse than DLSS4, again, you're probably going to need to take off a 10 to 20% of the price. And that's where you start to get to the 30 to 40% price discount that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. So I think that all of that stuff, uh, like, again, you'd be talking about like a, what, like an $800 GPU being $500, which sounds like a pretty significant discount. But just think about like a 7900 XT for $500 probably would have flown off the shelves. Yeah, I mean, I can see people arguing with you in the comments, getting upset about, you know, you're being unrealistic, they don't need to be that cheap. But it's like, I don't know what reality you're living, but we've just explained that in almost all instances, they've been offering a 20% discount, mm -hmm. have not been selling. Like yeah, market yeah. share smaller. That's right. And I think if the 7900 XT XTX was identical to a 4080 in every way, then it probably would have sold a lot better at the $1,000 price point. But people would have looked at the reviews and gone, rasterization performance, like if I'm playing esports games or don't really care about ray tracing, then great buy. And those are probably the people that bought an XTX, right? But then people interested in some of those higher tier features would have been like, yeah, I'll just get a 4080. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, AMD is also fighting against people that don't read reviews. So they have to start, they have to start with the enthusiast crowd, getting those people really interested so that it flows to the rest of the market. Whereas, again, like most people just immediately buy the GeForce GPU no matter what. And so is a small discount turning people's heads, changing the minds of those sort of more normal, casual PC gamers? No. is it No. It's proven no. Yeah. So, yeah, I think... AMD definitely has a chance to do all this stuff. It's just a matter of doing it and executing it and impressing us with these sorts of things. On top of that, they still need to make sure the hardware isn't terrible. They can't just launch cards with inadequate VRAM, missing video encoders, not enough v um, not enough display outputs. I'm talking about a 6500 XT. Like you can't release that product, and <laughs> like there's no price of that card would have been like wow, unless it was like I guess fifty dollars or something. Fifty dollars would have been acceptable. But yeah, so as long as the hardware is reasonable, I feel like a lot of what we've been talking about is not crazy stuff. Like it's not outrageous to suggest that if Invi if AMD made a 5070 Ti type of product, that they'd need to have pricing around the sort of $500, $550 range. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. Mm-hmm.